still here. How can I serve you, my Thane? Let's get going, then. Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Now maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. His name's Bolin. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking, especially with folk he don't know. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. A hearty welcome to Falkreath. All of Skyrim's true sons are welcome here. You'll find my brother Solof and I are the only true Nords in Falkreath. Did you see a dog out there? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Know if you want anything. This is a local Think favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. Well, Falkreath is known was for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Baron a proper burial by fire. Day. Old Hardhead hated the idea but of being lost cold in the ground. When he met the Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arkay? He'll know the right blessings to make for Baron's soul. Now I think it's high time that you lie down. Thank you. Till next so then time. Clashing and slashing of steel I was young once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. 
They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Laud the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Laud's house and get that letter. Good. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. You're going to have the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. I hear- Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? The people of Skyrim don't like magic much, so about the only place you're likely to find a teacher is the College of Winterhold. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. At some point, we should hire Tekla on here. If she could just spend less time serving Dengir. Ah, I wish I could afford to pay you both, Nari. I really oh, do. there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came right... White run from old Rorik stead. <laughs> and the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of old battles in gold he had made. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. But then he went quiet. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only the to have a child Oh, you talk and you lie. You're going to have the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. What can I do for you? Sure. What can I do for you? Sure. My voice could use a rest. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Did you need something? Look alive, will ya? Yes, Mom. What can I do for you? Hmm. Oh, did you need something? Need something. Yes. What can I do for you? Need something.
need something. Keep a song in your heart to ward off the blue. That Valga Venetia is a gossip and a troublemaker. Falkreath was once full of wanderers and warriors like yourself. Those were better days. Skyrim's history of war is well documented here in Falkreath's graveyard. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. My brother Dengir can be... difficult. Take his words with a grain of salt. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they rift. Might consider joining up myself. Try not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. See a hound on the road. Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. It's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Only inside the gates. Much of folk withhold is wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor.
Yes, what is it that you want? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk, and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Execute every... Bandit, spare no one. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. You mean Ulfric's so-called Stormcloak Rebellion? The Nord Kings, oh, excuse me, Jarls. They can't seem to control their own people, so the Legion has stepped in to keep order. Sadly, the Empire's stretched a little thin these days, and we've gotten very few reinforcements. So we've been forced to recruit locally. But rest assured, citizen, we'll put an end to this uprising and things will get back to normal soon enough. Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. We have garrisons throughout all the provinces of the Empire. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law, and protect the citizen. Skyrim's days are darkening, and the Legion will soon be called into service like never before. But we stand ready, as always, to meet that call. Think you've got the medal, eh? Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons. Skyrim's a mess. If you're serious, make your way to Solitude. Our headquarters is Castle Dower. You find General Tullius there, commanding our forces in Skyrim. But talk to Legat Ricca. She handles the local recruiting. Until next time. Falkreath Cemetery reminds us that war is not new here. I'm the steward here. 
I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me a steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and a town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the Hero's Graveyard. Many noble Jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. May wisdom forever light your path. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. <clears throat> what could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor and such power? I'm sorry, I should really go now. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast?
I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Let's get going then. The god Arte was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide. But we find renewal, and in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. I take care of the shrine. I am. I came into Arke's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Blessing of Arke to you for your help. Oh, merciful Arke, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Ghost is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Ah, Barret's Ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. A sad time. Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. I'm no scholar, but I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. After each battle, more dead were buried, and the graveyard got bigger. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Sinding came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? She was. He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here, and he likes to keep it this way. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. My husband Matthias and I tend Corpse Light Farm. These graves hold the sons and daughters of Falkreath.
gods gave you two hands, and you use them both for your weapon. I can respect that. Call upon me if I can be of any service. Browse as much as you like, please. behind you. I am at your command. You lead, I'll follow. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them?
Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. Take a look. Well, my family back in Hammerfell didn't approve of my interest in lethal poisons and death in general, so I left and wandered north. When I found this town, with its huge cemetery, I felt right at home. I opened the shop, and I've never looked back. This is where I belong. I know it's a bit strange. Not exactly a name to bring comfort to the sick and ailing who come to buy a poultice or salve. But what you must understand about Falkreath is that our town is defined, for better or worse, by the large and ancient cemetery here. 
That's why the inn is called Dead Man's Drink, the farm is called Corpse Light Farm, and so on. I suppose it's sort of a running joke. Mm-hmm. Falkreath's warriors always return, one way or another. Call upon me if I can be of any service. Need something? Yes? Yes? Got to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn. And I just don't know it yet. Need something? Come to gawk at the monster. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. This is the Ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times, like with the little girl. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase, and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt, but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my... 
accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Oh my, you would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck, but you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. You, you were talking to that murderous savage, and then he escaped. What are you hiding? Staying out of trouble, kinsman? If those white run guards can take down the dragon, so can we. I know you had some part in Sinding's escape. Don't deny it. <clears throat> Everything all right? What is it? No lollygagging. Takes a fair bit of strength to carry a greatsword like that. But can you use it? Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Only a hearty soul travels the road these days. bleeds Skyrim. It bleeds her dry, and I think none of us are the better for it. The men and women joined the war. They travel far on these roads to spill each other's blood. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. 
I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I... What's this, some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, Someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. No, it's too late for the ward stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Runel has been a true friend to my wife and I in our time of need. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. <laughs> 